it down still and crew now gonna offload that util but a stun's gonna be connecting kesnit forced and pushed back and away melter with the blind is good connection dart to try and again repel and push and ward away and in this carnage it is drx that are just leaving flashback alone a 1v2 spike dropped down at his back and he's trying to catch a timing of his own i like the reclear from shy and melzer but now they've split up and that's where the danger comes through does shy have eyes on the spike i think he must do just based on the minimap Flashback, wrapping all the way around here. Just doesn't need, oh, spotting one of the players and he knows exactly where Shy is for the 1v1. Crew happy to give this one up, a slight pixel angle. Flashback still committed and still holding it down. No one able to cross back up into Garage here. And at this point, round is basically wrapped up. Only two left to stand with MTA and Heat. Not much they can really do. I don't think there was any chance there for the crew players coming back through Garage. Even if they'd had rifles in hand, just far too snappy on the aim. Heat and MTA, they want to try to do a bit of damage, and that's a great opening shot. Yeah. Need a bit more, though, and already the flank is occurring. Flashback spots it out, and damage done to the remaining two. So need to defend this again with the fault line. Util is going to be expended, pushed back and away. No one on that dart. UT, Kesnit gliding to the side, smokes in their face. DRX might be able to persevere through the thick and thin of it. Shy's the last one left, and as the smoke dissipates, he's granted that easy angle again into the 1v1. Shots rattling, no casualties with damage done. Flashback, he's low, calm, tagged up, and finally the kill here for Shy. A lot of bullets. Landing, but did he think it's cleared? Oh my, peace of mind is not there for him, and the spectre in the hands of him, it's short work. The DRX team, only three of them left to survive into this as well. Norofet will give away quite a bit of info. It makes crew think they need to shore up this A side of the map, so Kesnit's gonna come and try to reinforce MTA. But basically, crew just need to not overextend. They're in a 5v3, you don't want to give any opportunities back to DRX. And what a heartbreaker that is for the Korean squad playing in front of the crowd. Shocked, stilled here in the arena. They knew there was someone behind that box. Yeah, maybe just feeling like the bullets that they did throw in were enough. An opener is what they need here. Cheeky kill, Melzer, he's not giving anything away. That is nasty. Jiggling onto the corner, a bit of a pre-fire. Vant, okay, Phantom at work. The ace. He's on for the ace, yeah. One player left to stand, it's Bane, and he's being pressured, pushed, corralled into the corner. Kesner steals away, but it's flawless at the end of the day. And here it is. But awareness here, he's stuck it! And Shy, he waits around the corner. Mako's baited to stick the ult, it's perfection. And what a play to make still. Fight isn't over yet, but this man will not be denied. Rips away two of the lives of DRX. They're going to give them up the site, but it's a consolation prize for DRX. And now Kesnet wants to make another go of things here. It's a fault line to set it up. Another stun is just going to be layered all the way through. Rifle aim is on point movement. Just a cherry on top, and crew cannot be stopped. In fact, the smoke's up and away. Blind in his face as well, and he wants to get the hell out of there. They're giving up the site entirely. Kill collected down to Bane. That was just up through mid. Now, the only... The silver lining potentially is that they might be able to get this plant down. Still, it's tapping away. It's forced out the Hunter's Fury. And they do have that rolling thunder in their back pocket. DRX desperate to get this plant down. Still, with that player disadvantage, here it is sent flying. Might be used into a response. So it's just a one for one. And Foxy Nine does take down Shy. Still holding on to the site. Wall up and over to the top. The retake is going to be difficult. Again, Kesnit just blindly firing away and through with that off in his hands. He's hoping for an easy kill. Buzz dominates in the smoke, but does not win out his fight. And up through heaven, and all has to be contained. Flashback of Mako, and down and out. Oh, this time up and towards heaven, but he's not going to be punished for it. Paranoia sweeps through. Smoke up into heaven for him to play around. He's waiting for the rest of his team to get in, and he leaps into the fray, trying to take the fight with a cloud burst in play, but already Kesnit is dropping them all like flies. DRX will have to answer back once more. This is ridiculous, man. Yeah, the pace is incredible. It's ridiculous. There's been no slowing down. DRX just getting sucked up into that whirlwind tempo crew happy to oblige into it this time they are giving up most of this site but they're setting themselves up as a paranoia and the fault line out through into the back again and already as util is just a little bit too late and delayed foxy nine presses the advantage through the smoke but a spike drop down now and everybody once more falls here for drx drx are getting sucked up into the pace of crew 
They're getting dragged Ooh. into oh, it. Oh my, what a shot. And plucked away. That's Kesnet pre fires onto the corner. And that's a Hunter's Fury gone for DRX. They were hoping they could potentially get a pick onto the C side. The ops are everywhere. Ops set up. They're in the walls, man. <laughs> oh, well, that's the advantage of having a blooming economy. You just don't expect it, but this is... And trying to make a good go of it. DRX in through into the B side. Rifles into their hands. Back up. Waver and Reader's no slowing it down. An attempt to flank and play himself into the angle, but Kesner's not slowing down. And there's no util to help out. Bane is just isolated alone on an island. There's no helping him out with the same pace that Crew was showcasing. Even a flank timing a buzz as well. It's going to come to no avail, but he does earn himself at least one kill, but can't land the second shot. Shy surviving, paranoia offloaded and flash into his face, but flashback, again he's pushed forwards. Away from the rest of his team, disconnected, and it leaves it just down to two. Mako, it's a nice shot into the 2v2, damage done to either side. Anyone's game, it comes down to these angles and timings, the 1v1, Melza versus Foxy9. Can hear the footsteps running around, but Melza wins it out. Rex looking to regroup now and take this one, potentially again. Fast at their disposal. It's going to be that paranoia again to try and pave the way, but already just being chewed up straight through the choke points. I mean, Flashback makes a decent go of things as well, but they just can't get past anything right now. Crew, an absolute chokehold onto the sea site, and this is them inevitability that they're going to be reaching that 12th round. Trying to speed run 112 the entire event at this point. And I am worried about what this is going to do to DRX. This is not the same team that had all the confidence to be able to make it through groups and get to lower bracket finals and try to break that glass ceiling for Pacific and for Korea. That's already been done by Gen G. DRX at this point, they are rebuilding. They've got rookie players on the team. Three of them, Foxy9, Flashback, Bane. Oh my, looking for that info. Going to be trying to hide away. Only one player revealing themselves. Buzz onto the off angle, but he's not expecting it across their placement. It's sky high. Korea even for Shaq, but he's not in the server. He's nowhere near. Cage triggered. I do like the idea there right as well. Here. Mako gave him a, a little smoke that you could barely see so that he could try to play like anti against the recon dart and unexpected in the corner. Didn't work. Crew looking to close out. Yeah, trying to force pause into the round to at least make them stim in a re-exploration. is punished in kind. Any short plays as well. Dealt with dismissed, and that is the map closed out. 13-2. Just to try and catch that contact early on, and he sees it, signs of life, but he can't escape. Bloody hell, suppressed by the knife, so he actually couldn't dash in and away. There's a dart, it's going to be used nice and early. Crew not committing past that point, just waiting it out and walking back up. But Foxy9, quick to respond, takes up that space once more, but as he swings out, he's not expecting again Crew to be in these spots. It's disjointed, it's individualistic at its core, and DRX. Not enough for them to really win out this map. It's going to have to hit some shots and land them. They will, at least Mako into the moment has made it. That two versus two onto this pistol round. They need this win. They need it now. Damage done. Almost single digits to a lot of the Mako. And a distraction necessary and enough for Flashback to just respond from the side. Avoiding letting them even get into the side here in front of the cove. It's very heads up, but he's going to be overwhelmed anyway. Outlaw into the hands, flashback into the secondary, but not able to land the share of shots. Still, Mako is here, waiting to receive. They're all going down to the classic right clicks. It's a disaster right now for DRX. Into a different location. Mako is the sole recipient of all of this aggression. The smoke is laid down nice and early and sprays it away and will play for his life. But the door's going to be broken. Still trying to take this fight offset with the movement. It's nice by flashback. He does answer straight back into a drone. It's going to be used, pressing forwards. Melzer's alone, though, and isolated. Rezzed up, adjustment, transferring with the rifles, and now no time. Not available here for crew. They will be dropping and falling. Not backing away from this fight. In fact, they want to be the ones to draw that blood up and the bound. This quick scope and Buzz is able to find the one, and there's no return of that fire, no trade in sight, still alive and kicking. And finally, the reinforcements flooding back in and around, but the bullets running out. Buzz, how the hell are you still alive here? Dash back online, shorty in his hands, Foxy9 finally there with him. Over the shoulder, leaving it just down to shy bullet straight through. And Buzz! Again, they've called for that reinforcement. Left. Buzz, though, smoked off now. In through the wall, he's going to hear these footsteps right past him. Will tilt away. And there aren't really enough discipline in terms of the way the crew are playing this one, but potentially able to barrel their way through regardless with that brute force. It what is about the chaos. Spike? The spike is just isolated, picked up by Kesner. TP's back and away again. Anchoring players not expecting it. Flashback. Again, circumvent that position, but flashback is caught by the knife here. 
And as well, that golden beam of light up and over. Flashback is forced to make that play, pushing forwards. is traded. Hunter's Fury used to try and help them out, but as well, he tried to get back into the action. He's dropped as a result of it. Now, the plan position isn't the best here, playing to the side of Cliff. He's a crew do have to commit a lot of bodies to try and hold on to side control. That does leave an opening for DRX. They've saved some util. It's in their back pocket. The dart and a paranoia. MTA in the off angle. It needs to be that trade shy. He joins up, links it all the way through. Bane, put it up onto that high ground. Has to know where these last two players are. But now, wrap it around once more. Slowly as you go. What a real difficult round to win. Set up here, Shy taking that first one. Knows there's a player tucked. Again, the off angle will not save you, but again, time is of the essence, and it's starting to tick away out of the grasp of Bane. Wincons diminishing, and with, uh, yeah, I mean, that's gone with a circle, just shrinking. That's a nice play to try and fight for that control early on into the cloud burst, but the dart doesn't reveal too much, and Buzz, uh, yeah, I mean, he hands it over towards that weaponry. Players have dropped, though. That was Mako committing an ult into spawn at the same time. And he's going to be paying the price for that. So the slow play, I mean, you really have to overextend yourselves as a defender to try and fight over that B main angle. As you saw, and it ends up meaning that DRX was stretched a little bit too thin. I assume that DRX have chosen this round because they were worried about the null command that MTAs just pop. You don't want to allow crew to get into position and just exec on you with this ult. So they tried to disrupt the game plan. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work for them. Ooh, Can they recover here? They, yeah, they're right back into it. Flashback, though, backs away. Just only with the one kill. He wants to play for his life. He knows it. At least with the teammates who are arriving, but not expecting that Melt has already crept up onto that deeper angle. Shy. Only with the plan. There's no chance in hell MTA is getting a res online, so he's going to be dropped just post Mortem Bane. High ground angle reset. At least enough to get the two. And Flashback dropped down into that 1v2. Not enough. Uh, it could be false confidence for DRX. They do have the crossfire. Mako, paranoia. They know he's isolated onto that corner, spamming away into the one way. MTA, he can't respond and he can't back his teammate up. They are trying to fight this one. Bound for pound. Mako, he's just swinging into this one with really barely any yeah, util. Left four and Buzz, happy to oblige and take part into the action and fight. And up through mid as well. Everyone dealt with. Reminiscent of what teams will sometimes do in that ascent A main play. A DRX have taken all of the sting out of this round. The reckoning down instantly. The teleport up recon so that you can get kills through your smoke. Yeah, Buzz falls. Crew have been able to find kills like this in the 3v5 spots. But normally the damage has already been done too early. Yeah, and DRX have been usually tempered enough that when these sites get pressured, especially over towards B, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to get a kill back away. Oh, my eyes are down. Never overextending their hands here. Flashbacks oh, get that acknowledgement. Cage are going to be. They found my back up here, shock darts, removing most of the trips. Knife for a knife, darting through the back as well. Needs to be broken here. Crew starting to walk their way back up, but again, all the noise is being made, and DRX should know this one. Adjustment, flashback, he was blind as a bat, yet still manages to come up with the one before the trade online. Kesnit, that's just an ult to try and pick up the spike. It was out into the middle of nowhere. A tap with 22 seconds left, but you've got to start to commit into this, and again, ice cold by DRX. Happy to slow it down, and now the full commit by Kesnit. Paranoia makes his way across, leaves it just down to the one. Kesnit backs himself away. He's hoping that he'll be able to get that easy fight. Singular in action. Does isolate just the one onto Foxy9, but it's still a 1v2 to overcome. Smoke up into the one way, but one for their own here. Jumping around, <laughs> a tap, there's the danger zone. Kesnit in potentially a bit of trouble. The dart pushes him back and away in, and up for Bane to just get that half. Sticking and grabs it. <laughs> And they're just trying to make a go of it. They've already made their way in through the side. And watching that one, Flashback gets taken care of. In through mid, and a peek by Foxy9 is not set up at all. Buzz trying to at least even out the odds of the fight to be taken. Again, doesn't adjust in time up through that heaven spot. And now Melzer sticking at the fuse, spamming into the angle, but the Cove defending against most of these bullets. Half is earned. Another smoke. Blooms and blossoms. Kesner with the kill. And a judgment again. Flick of the wrist. Tapping away with the guns. And it has to be reclaiming it. Bane back it up and running into with it. Oh, my. <laughs> Drone used. Time already running short here. But that Bulldog finding value. It's up to the site. Anchoring players. Mako trying to uh -oh. reposition up and around. And again, Kesner a tap onto it. No way. You can't let this. You squandered an opportunity. Not again. Kesner sticking. Everybody's fallen, but the time is on this. 
Buzz out, tagged up, pushing them back and away. There's still no two of these players here, but that's being heard by Flashback, and he deals with the flank. Pesky problem with Kesnit, dealt with now. Flashing through the back as well, and bullets to follow through off the back of it. Hunter's Fury forced to be used here, but the knife is going to be cancelling that one out. So, no, oh no, just out of range. I stand corrected, and a tap of the spike will force them out wide. MTA now got to do the most, but with the rifle in his hand, just not enough to get over that barrier. Still heat, adjustment, snappy, tapping away. Can't quite get it, the easy kill. Time was never on his side to strike from behind. Patience! Yeah, it's not being played just in that moment here, but MTA dropped down to his knees. A res possibility for it. T-Rex did get that plan a little bit prior. There's there. Tap onto the spike, forcing out most of the util. Kissing it. Smokes to play with util on top of it. Nades rebounding. Echoing pass. Flashback stepping up to the challenge. Right past most of this fight. Melzer not able to stick this one. Sprayed and spammed down onto that angle. Heat trying to get tricky with it again. Pushing and forcing the issue, but Buzz, the timing is impeccable. Dart reveals Kesnit is alone and not enough to overcome here. And this is going to be a squeeze and a pinch into these A anchoring players. MTA dropped straight to the floor here. Hunter's Fury being used to again push them back. Heat will be able to get at least some value from that with Mako falling. Flashback holding off angle. Claims to kill onto Melzer. DRX to kill feed that is filled up with red, at least for now. Kesnit traded. And so all the options that at least were present, available, were moved shortly after here for crew. Not able to hold their ground oh, onto that one. And brutal. I mean, look at the webcam for Heat. Yeah. It looks like he's had Problem. a tech issue again. Ah, That is a brutal one. A tilter, too, because damage already done in the round. Listen, I don't work for Compops, but the the rules, as as I understand them, are that you're not going to replay a round like no, this. Not if there's been damage done. He was also in a 1v3. Spots abound. Up for the ropes. There it is. Flashback strikes and was shy down. So goes the setup. Over towards B. So no command not even necessary. And he's really just done enough. It's too removed. Heat. He was running his wee little legs there as fast as humanly possible. But at this point, it's weakening out the defenders. Player spotted out over towards the A side. There is time still available. And with all this space gained and pushed up, vacuumed up here. Flashback even with that third. It's cracked open a side and essentially won them the map with that. Yeah, I think if it wasn't curtains already for crew, the, that lurk play and those kills have certainly driven the dagger into the heart. Yeah. Kesnit and MTA looking to pick up the pieces. Ooh. And it's a 4K, possibly on for the ace here as well. Can MTA shut it down or are DRX going to be thrown into bind? MTA. Device, flashbacks on Vive Elf, running his way around. <laughs> no ace today. But it is inevitable. MTA just making us all wait for a little bit. He's going to give it a good go, but already, look at the angles to account for here. I mean, Buzz has already just taken up this position into Spawn Blade Storm right behind him. Let's oh, nice out. He's, he's behind him. He's, toy him. Yeah, he's toying with him. He's walking up right behind him. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a horror movie. But 13 to 6 for the finish. Yep, Crunch online now. Shy. Triggering that play. It's a nade into the corner and Shy isolated. Pushed back. TP's on TP's crew. Well, nothing to do with it. But the Molly is preemptive. Drops them down, including a smoke in their face. Mako has locked them well out of that sight. Perfect play so far from DRX. But now, as crew reset. They're going running around the world. They're not going to know exactly where people like Flashback are. And they're not going to know that it's a four-player stack, but crew are much more grouped up. Walking around here, just onto the corner, expecting that re-clear, but crouched up. The bullet's just not quite landing. Only the one for flashback. That it. So nice and pretty, still with that shower's control. Buzz, it's a level of awareness there for him. And this is good. This is a nice read here from Melza. When flashback dies, you're expecting crew to accelerate into B. That's where the defenders go. Plus seeing signs of life down oh, for a short. Foxy9 over the top there with the Dizzy as well. Forces Melza out into that fight. Crouched up Heat. He removes Buzz. No longer a problem into this round, but a spike has also been dropped down. Tap from Heat, seeing if there's that second wave of things again. Out wide and open. Not enough of the movement. The time now is thoroughly against him. MTA, a lot to do in this spot. Forced to at least get the kills or stick, but it's an impossibility. 
T-Rex have laid that one to perfection despite... See, the molly has already been placed down as well, so crew being stunned with only 15 seconds left, and this is bought time for T-Rex. They've got players into the spot and a position, and Kesson just goes for the widest face in the world to clear it. Doesn't work out. Still alive onto the corners. Molly at their feet. They can't step over it. They can't get access to it. Jumping around, making a mockery of the round. T-Rex are converting this bonus. Past it. Up and over, doesn't clear out Makado, there's nothing for a showstopper in the hands. It's returned there and a swing off from the side. Bane still alive and kicking, but will fall in the end. That's heat to drop him. Shower's control is going to be given up and lost to flank timing here by flashback. Out and around, and a full avoidance of lamps. Crew wanted nothing to do with it, so they didn't give up their lives to the judge here. A lot is going to be resting on the shoulders of flashback. We're watching right now, but slipping past. Here's the footsteps running around. Got to wait for this wall to drop as well. He's going to be given the easy kill. Yes, he is. And T-Rex, they make sure to swarm. It's disciplines and an ult in the back pocket of Foxy9 will basically seal it up. Checkmate at that point. Players up into their face, but again, to judge and hearing it, nobody wants to step past it. Mako spam down heat. He has answered back, finally. Onto the board there with those two kills. A peek from Kesnit, lucky to be alive. They still haven't used Thrash or Showstopper. Here comes the Thrash. Now going to be used to... Not even take much space, just in case it peaks most of it, but they already had control of lamps. MTA will pick it back up for another go of things. Shy still sitting, tucked himself away into showers. One of the best chances they've had in a long time. Wait a second, Util is used. Combined attempt, Kesnitz Showstopper has to use at least to offset that one pain. He's sticking it, and it's not spammable for Shy into the spot. Off onto the angle again, he knows that there's a chance, and it's one out. Time escaping them, the hourglass Running dry, MTA fully committing and tapping onto, finally committing into the spike, and there is that reinforcement side by side. Kesnit joining into the fight, putting down any sort of position the DRX. They were fronting, trying to take right it. But they do have that showers control still. Snake bite to clear lamps. It's going to be the important elements here. Buzz has already picked up one, but it's already equalized. Nate into the hands, Kesnit. Util out and away. Movement by Bane, almost enough to isolate. Still, players are dropping crew. Another chance, and it's Grasp. Crew in danger of running out of time here. And already with a sound cues cut away as well, they are making their way through. That is rapid. Kesnit, he is in the charge for his team. Flashback worried as well, still trying to maintain control and his composure. Out towards A short, buying DRX a bit of a wing con as well, but a plant is down. Starting to tick away, Kesson also with that showstopper. Nobody can really wrap through, oh, I was going to say no one can wrap through short, but now flashback, hit down, these Lowers players it. can try. They're trying to bait them in here, flashback only for the one, still alive though. The defuse! No way, Bane! He sticks it! Where's the protocols in place, man? It's going to be landing and does deny that plan. There's a nade and a mosh pit, all going to be used for Bane trying to help him out. Doesn't fully commit into the fight at the front of the side. He's just about wiggling his way through. Damage is excellent, but still Melza. They're able to trade Fox9 instantly back and at it again. Kesnit, he's here. It's a three-piece for it. Nade rebounds, flashback abound. This guy, there's no safety in terms of anywhere that he can stand as that solo play, and they give it up. Crew, well, nothing to do with this. And because he has to be worried about shy in showers, Flashback there had to very diligently clear the angle. He couldn't just sprint over towards B and make it a foot race. They back and around. There's a lot of util being used by Crew. Here it is. Time to strike. It's being held by Crew. Watch on to that one, but it doesn't matter if he's holding it. He's not ready for this. Foxy9. He's straight back at them. Drops two. And Mako's right there too. Alongside it, just watching that A short avenue. Heat. Alongside MTA. Last two alive for Crew. They were not expecting that one. Again, it comes down to comfortability onto the map. Are they aware that somebody's here into the TP? I'm not sure they are. Yeah. Rifles flicking around there. They're wondering about it. They're looking they seem the like, way. Yeah, they, they know there's some level of danger. Some All Flashback has to down. do, though, really is stay alive. Yeah, he does. And he's going to be the nuisance player. Now Wingman's out through and a wide and a dizzy. Can't really see absolutely anything here, but it leaves it again just out of heat. It's a 1v3. 25 seconds, spikes drop down, discipline played by DRX, this is tempered, they back away immediately, they don't want to give up any easy fights with how low Bane and Flashback are. Buying time. You hear the plan, it's committed left. inside, heat. Spike planted. Hell of a job ahead of him. Gotta isolate these fights, over the strike, does not catch it, Haunt is dealt with, one bullet will drop it. 
has to reposition. He's worried about every single ankle. Flashback was ready. Yeah. Why not when it's flourishing in this way and form? The peak, of course, it's punished there. Foxy9, sharp. Oh, yeah. Rifles ready to be picked right back up again. Thrash out and through to Seize and Amosh. All going to be used. 50 seconds down. We wait this one out, but there's a gap, I think. Bane not actually going to be caught by that one. Showstopper used up and over the top here. Dizzy has to be used to respond, and now Buzz right back at it. All to his own, revealed. Uh, spamming and praying and spraying away. Bane is losing track, but still wrangles the kill. Rifles are there, and they put down these crew players. The tried strategy, they do this one quite a lot. Up and through, and Shy just didn't know which way to look. A flood attempt met and shut down the heat. He was caught between a rock and a hard place there. There's no chance of him being able to escape. Spike dropped down a bit of time, earned <laughs> Buzz. Layers down that nade just to give him the safety net to be able to get that plant down. Now into a solid post. Yes, they don't have any util. Three versus two. Buzz does not have a teammate to play off. No, he's very much alone here. He goes down as chances. Here for crew, double dub. This is what they do best, trying to take these fights, but again, just tapping away with the damage done. The game IQ just winning that one out for Buzz. It's three in a round four, and before he's eventually dropped, Kesnit has to do so much here. Tap, and just walking, trying to bait out that peak, not giving anything whatsoever. Tapping away, it's no easy fight. Nades re-earned, but expecting that re-flank, and right from behind, it's a dagger to the back. Wondering which way to play this one as well, just cycling through the weapons. It's a seize and a nade, Buzz tucked to the corner, still safe, and still firing away. Shots fired. That one through, that's the showers player dealt with here for crew onto this retake. They deal with Buzz too, there's that danger, but now he's going to be active. Into the fight now, what's the next player to all of this one? Has to watch it all down, MTA, oh, at least the tap onto the defuse, and DRX at least forced wide into the open. Just choosing to reconnect with the rest of the team. <laughs> and the timer taken by Shy, my God. Just expecting some sort of presence there. All off the Viper wall. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. Injection of fire there for crew. Potentially even here in those footsteps, but with the spike drop down, there's no chance. There's more, more or less here for Buzz. Potential money for his team to buy back up if he keeps this rifle into the next, but he might not even do that. That's nice. Seconds left. Getting cheeky with it. This kind of free round, though, where Shy picks the perfect timing and gets a couple brilliant kills. That's it. Exactly what the doctor ordered for yeah. them. It buys them time, gets them closer to big ultimates so that they can craft some uh, Ten seconds left. really difficult defensive setups to get through. And it gets them one step closer, making any kind of comeback oh, a reality. Oh, no, no, no. The thrash round two. Some flying out, out through elbow. Nobody's sticking to try and at least break that. And everybody's detained because they can't defend. Players topple, bodies fall, and TRX inevitable to get that 12. Just shy remaining, one to stand. Really dangerous. I mean, Eva Flashback catches the contact here onto one of these players. It is return with a fire, but as a showstopper, right onto the other side of the map. In through B, and Buzz has gained a lot of ground from it. Just the threat of it! That is egregious by Heat. Thinking he can take that timing back and away, and the Thrash is just dealt with. Broken down, Kesner can't take the timing. This is it, the impetus. DRX know exactly when to strike where it hurts, with an orbital strike earned up as well. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Now MTA is going to be pushed back from this corner. Off of any of these players, contacts the Thrash up and around. The Tainment onto Buzz, that will be the kill. And the angle just not afforded to at least answer back, but finally doubles up and Shy has to do it all. So much to overcome, not quite possible. DRX.